Hello, I am Jaap Age, Expressionist Painter, and in this video you can see how this uh, painting, called The Secret of Hysteric Hats, uh, is made. It is created in a number of steps, and all these steps are here in the video. Enjoy! Welcome to the studio. Uh, today I will be working on this painting here. Uh, it's about two years old, I think, and I call it the hysteric cat. Hysterical cat. It's part of the hysterics is that these big eyes and many eyes. But I have one little problem with this painting, and that is I don't like it. I thought the hysteric cat would be an ideal candidate for a reworking in my new style, in which I will first cover it with um, uh, stencils, chablonas, uh, and then I will paint the whole thing white, and you will see this will give a very interesting effect. <laughs> He is like some, you know, entity that spawns something else. So that's why I'm going to put this here. Okay, sort of arrange it in a nice composition. I like to sort of, you know, do like a whole surface treatment. I think here, for instance, in the middle here, where the hysteric cat's tongue used to be, it's a bit, you know, that's going to be a bit white if it's that's the only thing that's there. So I'm cutting a new special stencil for that area. Uh, let me see. So this is a bit big. Oh, I just like this shape. Okay, but especially the little pieces should be well glued because if the pieces are too uh, loose on the uh, on the painting, then um, paint tends to creep under under them. So I don't want that, of course. Now we have to look at the other. Yeah, this yeah it stands up like this. Okay, so the hysteric cat is all, you know, all covered with, with stencils and I'm ready to put on the white coat. Bye bye hysteric cats. So I'm basically covering up the whole hysteric cat here, but of course it will not be white in the places I put on the stencils. So in a sense, you could say I'm using negative stencils um, compared to how stencils are usually. Usually stencils are used to depict something and here I'm more using them to uh, save certain. So basically they're negative forms, my stencils here. And here some of these shapes are running off the canvas, of course. Okay. So, it's, I like to use gesso because it doesn't cover, cover very well. If you want to make a, a, a canvas white, you are often advised to put on three coats of gesso before it is completely white. And that's, in my case, in this technique that I'm using, it's a, an advantage that it doesn't cover because I really want to preserve a lot of the underlying painting. In a sense, the interesting thing is that, you know, I will get an interplay between my... Oh, there, one of, there goes one of my stencils. Well... That looked pretty good, so 
I'll just leave this off and sort of, you know, paint around it. Well, it's pretty much done, really. Well, isn't that interesting? It's still there, and yet it's not. There's so many other shapes sort of competing with the original shapes. When this dries, I will, you know, add some more color. I will maybe accentuate some of the underlying shapes. Uh, I might cut short some of the um, strong shapes. Um, I might do all kinds of things. Maybe, you know, I sort of change an eye or whatever. <laughs> I was looking through some old photographs and I found this very, very old, maybe two years old, um, version of Hysteric Cats. That was even before it was called Hysteric Cats. And please notice some of these dark shapes in the bottom. And we will see in the next version they are still there. Here's the next version of the Hysteric Cat. And uh, there's some strange artifacts uh, in the movie. But here you can see uh, when we zoom in on the same uh, patterns, you can see the old patterns that were in the uh, other version are still there. Here is the eventual version of the uh, Hysteric Cats uh, painting. Um, and if you look carefully in the um, lower left-hand corner, you will observe the same patterns that were there in the very first version of this. And that is the magic of, I find, the magic of this way of working, that it's layer upon layer upon layer, but uh, nothing ever gets lost. Patterns in the first version. The same patterns still very clearly visible in the second version. And the same patterns again, albeit a little bit less uh, obvious, in the final version. <laughs> Well, this is, this is typical, one of these areas where a stencil was, and here's another one, and here's another one. And then uh, I already started the next phase, where I took a lot of, you know, um, painted papers. I used to just take the old palettes and, you know, cut out pieces of them, glue them on uh, new works, but then uh, that wasn't very durable because, you know, actually, if you then later put a stencil on it again, uh, you could draw off the, the whole paint, which was in a sense okay, but was not what I wanted. In this particular case, with the Hysteric Cat, I taped this and 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 this. Uh, yeah, and this uh, on the painting. So I tape a lot. So actually there's quite a few steps that led eventually to this. Uh, now it is time to stop working with cutouts. Uh, don't ask me why. Uh, and to uh, start painting again on this uh, same work. But I thought I'd show it to you before everything got glued on tight, so you can see this phase. So, um, I will glue it on, and then I'll get back. But in the meantime, I don't know if you can see that here, I have one work here, that's from a Ukrainian friend, and since things are so horrible in Ukraine right now, uh, I thought I would try to lift his spirits by working on our communal work, uh, he's already indicated that he'd really like that. So I'll glue on these elements on the Hysteric Cat. Uh, and then when everything is fixed nicely, I will come back for the next phase. 
This one has two focal points, as you can see, yellow, yellow, with some supporting colors that are also the same here. And I want to do the same with the Hysterocat. And I want to do something similar with the Hysterocat painting, putting two focal points, one here, one here. Um, so one on the eyes and one away from the mouth. Okay, so I'll put the camera on speed so you can sort of follow what I'm doing. So it's that moment where um, I will roll on the frame in this uh, The Secret Of series. I put on some stencils here and uh, I have some very special acrylics. Um, this color is straight from the bottle and um, these are uh, transparent acrylics. So this should be a good... At one time there should be a good view of the underlying layers. This acrylic is foaming a little, so... Um, which is an... I hope this is going to be an interesting effect. So, let me see where does the stencil end. Okay. So actually, uh, I put in some purple. Um, purple elements uh, like this one here and this one I couldn't help myself basically I thought I was finished but uh, I had to do a little more sort of purplish purplish bluish uh, um, pinkish uh, elements and I think maybe I can do that with the frame a little bit too let's see I have some pink acrylic here and I'm going to experiment wildly with this to add some Ah, this looks sort of looks nice actually. Ah, this is looks wonderful. Okay, so now if it works, don't fix it. Well, maybe fix it a little bit, tiny little bit. Uh, so. I always have to watch out for not overworking this. The um, as usual, this work has gained a lot in depth. So actually now we have like three or four layers. One is the original Hysterocat painting, then the second one is the white over that, then the third one are some layers and gluons, cutouts uh, pasted on that, and then there is the, the blue, the blue, purple, uh, pinkish frame and so here for instance 
uh, you see all these different layers interacting. Um, I am sorry to say that the stencil has bled quite a bit, so it's not as sharp as I would have liked it to be. But, um, I don't know. Let's see, maybe I'll try, I'll see if I can take off some of the bleeding. Probably not. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so finished or almost finished the secret of hysterics.